Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Madison and Christian here. Today we're gonna to be watching episode two of Agatha All Along. We literally just watched episode one a few minutes ago and it was a very strong start to the series. Uh, it just left us wanting more, really. So we're ready for episode two. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at my front door. <laughs> Why'd you drink it? Whose shoes are these? <laughs> the house is yours, random boy. Random boy. <laughs> oh, she's leaving. Come again? The witch's room. I want you to take me there. The road will give you the thing you want the most if you make it to the end. Oh. oh. <laughs> Road is no place for a kid. I'm 16. Oh, sorry. Teen. <laughs> That's where he got his name from. Didn't kill you. Oh. Well, I'm exceptional. <gasps> That's my point. I have that hat. Okay, so of course real you do. witches have the hat. <laughs> That's why I saved you from the spell you were under. No. He did? What? Why do you need the road? The road promises that what's missing awaits you at its end. Power is what I'm missing. That's why he's doing this? Or is he lying to her? Hmm. I wonder whose hair that is. Mm hmm. Who are you? My name is. <gasps> Say again. I'm. What the? They look like an M. Yeah. <laughs> what is she doing? Just what I was looking for. Uh, you're driving. Scissors? <laughs> Miss Harkness. Miss Harkness. What do you know about covens? Oh my God, are you taking me to meet your coven? No, those harpies are dust. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Was that Wanda's house? Yeah, I remember she got rid of it. Oh, can she leave now? I think so. Or are they going to run into a wall? His boyfriend doesn't even know where he is. There is a pen in the glove compartment. Oh. Yeah. She's gonna throw it out. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> right. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> no, but all we need is a bit of talent. Uh, stop. What? Here. Now. Oh. The psychic, psychic reading readings. shop. Okay. We are hoping for a miracle today. Oh, this is my boy, Buford. Oh, he doesn't talk much. He's got social anxiety. <laughs> he was about to talk. <laughs> what is top of mind is the location of some gold bars he may or may not have buried in our backyard. How will you be paying? Oh, he's got it. Debit works. He always takes care of mama. She's making him pay. Did he go? <gasps> he died on the 18th hole. Oh, she's good. She's like, I literally just asked one question. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> There's something else. What is it? He just He's talked. Under the influence of another. Mm. So she is the real deal. It's not the first time your witch can betray you, but you survive. In a way, few do, and I am not interested. Oh. Your bank statement will say Lilia's leggings, but that's just my side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we came to the 
right place. <laughs> what was that? Witches like you were the reason people think we poison apples and steal children and eat babies. Babies are <laughs> delicious. Oh. <laughs> you get what? Maybe two suckers a day in here and 20 bucks later you're sitting on a bed that's also your wall. Ooh. No, I do not. Beat it, Harkness. Huh. I'm gonna walk the road. Oh, that piqued her interest. Yeah? Where's your power now? Time to restock. I need a divination witch. Who is this child? I'm my pet. This is my pet. Say hi. My pet. Hi. <laughs> he did it. We're successful? What, you turn around and steal my power? <clears throat> is that what she did the first time? Yeah, he didn't know about that, I don't think. She could be lying about that, though. Huh. That is true. She could be lying. If you two stay any longer, I'm going to have to start charging you again. Uh-oh. Oh. A list of four names. Looks like you've got your coven. Leave me out of it. You're on here. Oh. I get this address. Be there at five. Plenty of street parking. So her name was on it even though she said no? Yeah. I A crow? Oh, is it are they watching her? Taste. <laughs> I'm being serious, ladies. Mm. An edible candle? Mandatory Zen time. Hey, where do you keep your jade eggs? I'm fresh out of marbles and my pelvic floor is all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so good. How are you? Awful. I'm assembling a coven. I need a potions guy. We're going to walk the road. <laughs> She's the potions witch. Okay. You lost the dark hold. And now you're powerless and exposed. How far you've fallen, witch killer? At least I'm still a witch. Ooh. Ugh, I'm not going to waste my breath illuminating the obvious. Have fun healing the healthy. <sighs> I'm really sorry about your recent legal troubles. Oh. He would not consider superficial burns injury, but apparently some people needed skin graft. Oh, oh, damn. Historically, we as a group don't do well in courtrooms. <laughs> like five years in prison, but 800 counts of it. <gasps> oh, it starts to get a little like me. <laughs> You've tried everything but the road. If you value your freedom, Join us here tonight. Okay, nice. Okay. So she has reason to join. Damn, he teen is proving useful. Right. Lilia said four names. Yep. Let me see. Let me see. What are you? What? What? Very mature. Come on, teen. So she's avoiding somebody. The fourth one, yeah. I wonder who it is. Hmm. Do you see her? Do you know what she looks like? She's a blood witch. A blood witch is child of a witch. In this case, child of a witch. Lorna Wu in the Coral Shore. Take it easy. She wrote the most famous version of the ballad. My mom went to see her last tour right before she died. R.I.P. I bid on a limited. <gasps> Who does he think his mom is? Oh. Let's go. She keeps getting freaked out when she sees certain animals. They might be familiars. Mmm. At the Westview Mall. Mm. I feel like she'll be somewhere cooler, like Brooklyn. Are they in a hot topic? <laughs> oh man, I hope so. I know I have an aesthetic, but what are we doing here? Run. 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 He's gonna steal something. 
<laughs> we need a protection witch to join us on the witch's road. What do you say? What? Gulliver! Oh, sir, this woman just assaulted my nephew. Your old lieutenant convinced me to give you a shot, but you've been nothing but bad luck. You're fired. Damn. But the road? The road isn't real. You Gerberys don't get it. It's just a stupid song. The road is a myth. It's a con, a cult. Yeah. So she's not a believer? What happened to mommy? <gasps> Tough nut to smash. Crack. <laughs> smash. <laughs> we don't need her. Come on. The list says otherwise. Yeah. Where are you from? Originally, I mean, I was born. Right here. It's happening again. Anytime he gives like details about himself. Yeah. Everything else is normal. What if he writes it down? Nice to get to know each other a little bit. And he's not aware of it. No. Drive faster. Does it happen to everyone, even like his boyfriend? Hmm. How do you get around talking to your boyfriend? You know? It must be just Agatha. Hmm. Oh, that's an Agatha. That's more comic accurate. Mm-hmm. Even the hair. <gasps> mm. A wolf, a rat, and a crow. Mm -hmm. All the mail. Welcome, Coven. <laughs> Aw, he's so cute. Does this look centered? Let me see. Maybe if I... Uh... She's going to rip it. A little more to the I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Am I the first to arrive? The rest will be here soon. Please, come in. Right, Agatha? I don't care, man. Whatever she wants to do. <laughs> I don't care. I ate before I came. Oh, but I, I don't mind a lapsed expiration date. <laughs> Your front door is missing. Alice, how did you... I'm an ex-cop. It's going to be the answer to a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Where's our green witch? Oh, do we really need one of the Green Witch? Getting cold feet already, Chen? Well, there was one more name on the coven list. Wasn't there? I wonder who it is. It wasn't a name. It was a heart. A black heart. <gasps> it's because you used a black pen. <laughs> was it Aubrey Plaza? Oh. No way. It's Kitty? I don't think so. Maybe she's just trying to bring another person to save face. Mrs. Hart was what Wanda um, granted oh, me. You know, my name is Sharon. <laughs> I know you get She Look at her, all her plants. She's a green witch. Mmm. Have I commented on how beautiful your garden is recently? Well, no, you have not. <laughs> I love her. A party? <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, I haven't been to a party since Mr. Davis passed away. Are you in or are you out, Hart? Um, oh, well. You in or you out? <laughs> Should I get the car? Some people might need to squeeze in the back. You don't drive to the road, teen. The road is conjured. Okay, but you'll let me know yep, when- Yep, yep, I'll scoop, scoop. Okay. Okay. Does Mrs. Hart know what she's doing here? Okay. All aboard. So who's going high? Oh, no, thank you. I don't take drugs. No, the high part <laughs> of the song. <laughs> What's happening to him? Darkest hour, wake thy power. Earthly and divine. Damn, they sound good. It shall be thine. Am I supposed to know this song? <laughs> <laughs> Will it work without her? Down, down, down the road. Down the witch's road. Down. They're killing this harmony. Thy hidden gate. 
Ooh. What's gonna happen though? Miss Hart didn't sing. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Oh. Run, bro, run. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the Salem Seven? Run, bro. Oh, I think I saw a there person was behind. Seven. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna work, bro. They're already in. <laughs> Mrs. Hart just having a good time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, chills. <laughs> Some feedback for you. It did not take this long last time. Well, if she was a bitch, <laughs> says the voice flatter than a pancake. Yes. Damn, what? Oh no. Why didn't it show up? <laughs> oh shit. And I was a fool. You can forget the witch's road. I die before letting you befoul it with your noxious mediocrity. Oh. Says the witch with no powers. Fraud. Disappointment. Oh, she's I pissing him off. Like the rest of mm. She wants them to hit her with their power. Oh, this is a power grab. She wants us to attack her. Yeah. Only a true coven can open the door. <laughs> so she knew it wouldn't work. Just blast me, you bitches! <laughs> The road. Oh, it worked? Open it. <laughs> yell for the teen, yell for the teen. Grab the bunny and go. Listen, is this the road? Because we should really, really go like right now. Oh, he just went right in. Wow. What does your gut tell you? Poor Mrs. Hart. She has no idea. She's just along for the ride. Is she a secret witch? Maybe, because how the hell did this work? Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Well, they're in it now. Oh, it's oh, beautiful. Wow. Full moon. I never doubted us for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I love it. Poor Mrs. Hart. Literally, she's like, okay, did I drink a weird soda when I walked in? <laughs> I think she thinks it's just a dope party. She's like, invite me to the next one. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, now we wait. Dang, that was a really good first two episodes. We got moving. We found the witch's road. Mm -hmm. And I'm obsessed with our little ragtag group of witches down on their luck witches and Mrs. Hart. So this has been fun. Well, I got to say last episode, I kind of thought that uh, Billy, I'm assuming it's still Billy, wanted to go to the road to maybe find who his parents were or who his mom was but in this episode he said my mom used to listen to that band or whatever so who does he think his mom is my mom used to so is she gone or is the person he that never, he thinks is his mom he never actually had any like he, he didn't actually spend that much time with wanda remember i don't know what to think about him maybe he's from a different timeline where he was raised by Wanda or something? Maybe. Yeah, that's why, like, there is a little bit that makes sense why he would be Billy, right? Because he does magic, just like Wiccan. Um, and he's in Westview, but all, and like, he doesn't have a name and he's been spellbound. But if, if he's in this universe and he's from another one, 
he's already mentioned that he's got a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So he's been here long enough. For a minute. Yeah, long enough to have a relationship with somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's still so much we don't understand about his character. And we don't know anymore because every time he tells Agatha something. The audio cuts. Yeah, the audio cuts. I'm also wondering if he's aware of his brother. He hasn't really brought him up yet. That's true. He Tommy. never he never even said he had a brother. Yeah. Or well, anything. maybe he did and we didn't hear it. Oh, you're right. You know? Because we wouldn't have heard it. Mm-hmm. And that would have been a specific detail about him. Now, he says he wants to go to the road for power, but he could have just been lying to get Agatha to do what he wants. Because how did he know that she was an important figure in the first place? He says he just did some research. I just feel like we're not getting a lot of answers about him. And it was so like, oh, I found out all this information about Agatha Harkness, you know, just readily available. Why did he even look for that? Like what led him down that path to find that information? It just seems. Like what, was it all online or something, you know? like Right, and I don't know. It just seems very convenient, if you will. Mm -hmm. Also, we're only taking what he said to Agatha at face value. Like he really meant what he said. He mm-hmm. could have ulterior motives. He could. And not want to tell Agatha. And even if he wanted to tell Agatha, we're not going to find out. <laughs> exactly, because everything seems to be bleeped out from him. So, yeah. damn. Okay, this episode was good. I feel like we learned a little bit while also having more questions. So Mm -hmm. that makes me excited for um, the next episode for sure. I did also think it was pretty cool that each witch in the coven seems to have like their own speciality, their own Mm. expertise. You know, you like the divination, the potion, and then we don't know if Miss Hart actually is- She's the earth witch. The earth witch or not. She has a green thumb. She does. And they said that the, it wasn't a last name. They just colored in a heart. A heart. Yeah. You know, so I guess it is her, but either she's not aware of who she really is or Agatha lied and just brought this poor lady along, mm. you know? Yeah. No, I I think. But the door opened, which leads me to believe she is witchy in some capacity. Shape or form. Maybe she just didn't know she was a witch. She just always thought she had a green thumb. But she was in Westview. And her, she was, her life was taken over just like everybody else is and put in this illusion. But now they're all aware that they're not in the illusion anymore. Like mm-hmm. all the townspeople are. she said, are. oh, my name was Hart. That's who Wanda made So me. I'm assuming everybody reverted back to their old selves. But yes. if she is a witch, then she's not aware of it? That's weird. Possibly. I mean, she, like, okay, like the other witch, Alice, uh, the one they found at Hot Topic, they said she was a blood witch, which means her relatives were all witches as well. So she carries it like in her genes. But if Mrs. Hart also had people in her family that were witches that she didn't know and they didn't raise her in the way and she just has a natural magic towards plants. Well, Agatha didn't didn't say that she, she it was something she said. Mm-hmm. A blood witch or something like she said, that. She said blood witch for Alice. Means that she's the child of a witch. She didn't say that for Mrs. Hart. She didn't, no. But for whatever reason, she's good with plants and that checked out here. Now, I don't know, is that the reason she picked her? Like, oh, it would be believable because she has a green thumb because she likes to garden. So I could fool the other people in the coven by saying she's the green witch. Mm-hmm. Or she really is a witch, which I am in, kind of inclined to believe since the door opened. Right? That's what I'm thinking. She is because the door opened. Or maybe the door will just open if you sing the song. My thing was, though, originally when Agatha looked at the list, she saw that and didn't want to go ask that last person. That's true, too. If it was Mrs. Hart, why would she not want to ask why her? Why would she not want to ask her? Exactly. Exactly. So maybe we are right in that Mrs. Hart was not the person. But because her last name was Hart, she thought, oh, this will make sense to them. I can get away with it. Hmm. So maybe the other person is actually still out there. Which is why I thought Aubrey. It was Aubrey Plaza. Because she was the only 
but she didn't seem like an earth witch when we saw her using her powers. Exactly. She did not seem like an earth witch. Now, the only other person that we've seen that is a witch is Teen. So maybe because he was close, if he has the same type of magic, maybe, but he didn't sing the song. He wasn't down there with them. So either... Why would they draw a heart for him, though? I don't know. We don't even know his name. And no name was written down for him. It was just a heart. But if she, earlier in episode one, she tried to figure out his name and that, like, those stitches or that letter or whatever appeared over his mouth and she couldn't hear anything, if it was written down, she wouldn't be able to see it. Oh, you're right. But she did read the name. So it wasn't, it wasn't him. It was somebody she knew previously and she did not want to talk to them. And she did not want to talk to them. The only person I know so far that she does not like is Aubrey Plaza, but she seems to have made a lot of enemies. I in yeah, her time. that's true. Like, how many enemies does she have? I mean, over the centuries of pissing people off and yeah. you know betraying them. I mean, I'm sure the list is endless. But at the same time, whatever happened, picking Miss Hart was clearly the right path. It worked. <laughs> whatever gets the door open, right? Yeah. So um, I'm really excited to see Miss Hart's path down the witch's road because first of all, she has no idea what it is as far as we know. Uh, she has no idea what it is, but she's going to get something at the end of it. Right. If they all make it to the end, they'll all get something. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited for that. That's going to be funny. And I love Deborah Jo Rupp. She is so, so funny. I used to watch that 70s show all the time. So I'm just really excited to see her getting some more work because she's fantastic. All right, guys. Well, this was a fantastic episode. Definitely feel bad for Christian because I'm going to be singing Ballad of the Witch's Road for the next week. <laughs> so if you enjoyed our reaction, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because it's definitely helping out the channel. And make sure you follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye.